Hello everyone, this is Jay from Brony Gaming TCG, and today I have a little bit of information for you guys. The secret rares and the full set list of the Shining Legends set has been revealed. If you guys want to go check that out, I will leave a link in the description to the full set and uh, oh, some of the pictures of the secret rares and full arts, rainbow rares. Uh, are on that web page as well so you guys can go check that out it's in the description below so go ahead head down there click that also if you are not subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button while you are down there anyways let's get into the bulk of this is it good episode and that today is salazzle ente now let's talk about ente first Inte is a interesting card coming from the Shining Le Legend series, and a lot of people have downplayed it a little bit. Not too many think it's people gonna think it will be that great. Well, it's a fire type Pokemon. It has 180 HP, and it's also a basic Pokemon. This means it's searchable with Nest Ball. It's also searchable with Ultra Ball. So, I mean, with Nest Ball, you're not gonna be discarding any cards, but here in a minute we'll get to it may actually help you to discard cards so uh ultra ball nest ball that is your guys preference obviously so its first attack is ember for a red energy and a colorless energy you're going to do 50 damage not too great there's no uh other effect on it so definitely you're not really going to be wanting to play that attack at all but its second attack is the attack that we want to look at here it's fire fang 100 damage your opponent's active pokemon is now burned it costs two red energy or fire energy and a colorless energy pretty high cost for only 100 damage and your opponent's active pokemon is burned but burn is going to deal that damage up to 120 so 120 per turn not too bad not too bad it's going to be a two-hit KO for most Pokemon, and if you're playing a Grass-type deck, which Grass-type decks are getting more and more common, you're going to be hitting for 200 base damage plus the burn, so it's most likely going to knock that Pokemon out. Now, its last attack, its GX attack, is Brave Blitz, which is the same cost as Fire Fang. It does 150 damage to one of your opponent's mentioned Pokemon. You can't use more than one GX attack per game. Now this does not exclude weakness and resistance. So I'm guessing that uh, Brave Blitz will hit for weakness and resistance. So if it's a grass type Pokemon that your uh, opponent has on the bench, you're hitting for now 300 damage. So Entei can do a lot of damage, especially if he has a choice band on it. So you're like, okay, well, he's all right. It's a lot of cost, but we have Kawhi. So Kawhi is what makes this deck so freaking good. And why I think it's one of the best kept secrets that's going to be coming out of this Shining Legend series. A lot of people are going to be like, Raichu is really good. A lot of people think Mewtwo is really good. Mewtwo is obviously really good. Plus it's got some sick art. Anyways, but Entei here can really make an impact in the game, mostly because not only can you combine it with uh, Choice Band and Kawhi to speed it up, but you could also play it with Volcanion EX. Volcanion EX puts steam up on the field, and you could be discarding your energy that you have in your hand to go ahead and use steam up, you know not a bad idea. Also, you could combine this with Salazzle from Guardians Rising. Now, Salazzle from Guardians Rising's ability states uh, when you evolve this Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned and burned, which does 30 damage at the end of the turn. But if you have Saviper, which is coming out in the Burning Shadow series, you're going to double that poison. So let's say you have your Entei GX in your attack attacking. You have Salazzle in your hand, you evolve it, you put the burn and the poison on it, so you're at least going to be doing 30 damage at the end of the turn. Then you go ahead, you play down your Saviper, that's doubling the uh, amount of poison damage that you get, so you're going to be doing 20 and 20, so there's 40. You hit for a Fire Fang, that's 100. With Choice Band, you're looking at 170 damage for a 3 uh, three energy attack. Not too bad now, once you think about it. 170 damage for three cost. I mean, people played Quad Labrys, and that was 160 damage. And there was no effects after that other than Quad La uh, Labrys couldn't attack the next turn. So really, you can attack in the next turn with Entei. So is Entei going to be good? 
will it be good? And my say is yes. Yes, Intake could be very, very good, especially combined. If you want to combine it with Volcanium, it'll be a good tech in Volcanium decks. If you want to combine it with Salazzle and Viper, I think that'll be a great budget deck that many people could easily play and compete with. So definitely leave your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them. Anyways, guys, this has been Jay from Bro Gaming TCG. I want to remind you all to always keep on battling and pursue your dreams. Thanks for watching.